all this craving for things um, because we're lacking something inside we, we, we feel like a, there is a void and I think this um, this nature if you are connected to that that void is filled with, with yeah, the happiness of this connection I'm going to talk with Claire Heisteg about her purpose in life. What drives her to create a nature center and education programs so people can reconnect with nature? Claire, you created a nature center and education programs so people can reconnect with nature. Yes. Um, what is a nature center and what drives you to do this? To start with the first one, what is a nature center? Uh, what is our nature center? Is that people come here, uh, like schools, uh, people with interest in nature and students, to have a, a week in nature. But also private groups come here and uh, have their week in nature here. Because, yeah, that's not what you can get in Holland. Yeah. Okay, now why can't you get that in Holland? Well, the biodiversity is very high here. Um, so all the species which live here can't see them anymore in Holland. In Holland you have this tiny little spot somewhere and all the people of Holland go there to see this one little animal or this one little yeah. plant. And here it's all around you. Wow. So biodiversity is high. So, and you feel that if you walk around it, the system is complete. So, yeah. so that makes that it is easier for people to reconnect here than it is in like, in some Douglas uh, fern tree uh, yeah. uh, woods in yeah. Holland. Yeah. Yes, yes. And, and and you say you feel it here. How do you feel it? It's that you feel if you walk around, you feel complete. You feel happy. You feel. Uh, yeah, you are nourished by it. So this nourishment comes in, and that is yeah gives this uh, contentment, right? Yeah. And and how come that you feel this nourishment? Is that because there's so much nature, or yeah, it's partially because there is a lot of nature. And partially because uh, the way I, we try mm -hmm. to look at it. If you're talking about reconnecting the nature, it's something more a female way, like you're feeling it. Like you're not living in your head, but you become quiet. And then um, you look at it in a different way. And then there is not so much of this alienation we have uh, nowadays with nature. Uh, and this reconnect program uh, I do with students coming here, especially the uh, design for this from our alienation uh, of, with nature. Okay. Yeah. And, and how is it designed? All these uh, exercises you can do to reconnect to nature. And what, what, what kind of exercises are these? Well, asking permission for a tree to sit up on the stem, for instance. Okay. Because um, we take nature for granted. Mm -hmm. This is our day-to-day -day approach to nature, that it's our it's ours to take whatever we want and need. I think you, you, you're doing this work to find out about what is driving people and that what people drive is their soul, their inner being, isn't it? So, and why don't we think of nature in this way? There is an inner being in nature as well. We have to take it as live not only living but also as a spiritual being yeah yeah and so if i come to visit you and i don't know you and i go to your fridge to open it up <laughs> and eat something that's in there you would tell me what are you doing here so but that's our approach to nature yeah. this is based on our 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 values in 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 our society and, and, and 
But we have to rethink this. Nature has some intrinsic uh, value as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Wow. And so what drives you to create this here? Holland hasn't got a lot of nature left. So we felt less and less uh, at ease there. Yeah. yeah. So, but you can talk about it and then there comes this moment you have to say, okay, we have to do something. Yeah, and that's what we did. We had bought this uh, barn because it was now more than a barn, and we had uh, saved eight thousand euros at the time, and we left. And we had to do all the work to turn it into a, a nature center, and that took us years because we had to work to. Uh, to earn money and yeah. to build it. So. And what is the drive you have that you created this nature center? Why is it so important for you? Well, if you love nature as much as we did so to, as to leave uh, Holland, you are going to teach people about what you think is important in life. Our connection, that's broken. So we have to reconnect. Yeah, 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 yeah. But otherwise, our all our technical solutions won't help us any further. And what, what is your dream? We are doing a sort of an eco-life here. That um, I would uh, would love to do that with more people, with younger people, with more ground and have an eco-village type of thing. Also built on those different values of uh, the interconnectedness of life. Yeah. And what is your interpretation of these values that we should adopt? See everything as equal. Yeah. There is this Buddhistic uh, tradition where you sort of uh, imagine you are this animal. And, and there is this round of 12 animals and say, okay, will we build a house here? And then all the animals can have, or all the plants, whatever, can have a voice yeah. in this discussion. Because wow. it's... Not only to us, we have to ask rather than well, say, yeah, this is how it's going to be. They have an equal part. Equal part, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, what do you think it will bring to people? Well, you know, all this craving for things. Um, because we're lacking something inside. We, we, we feel like a, there is a void. And I think this um, this nature, if you are connected to that, that for it is filled with, with yeah, the happiness of this connection. So yeah, so it can bring a lot. Yeah. But, yeah. Wow. Yeah. What, what do you hear back from your students who come here? Well, for some it's nothing. But the ones who get through this bit of shame and oddness, they feel like after a while like yeah it's really bringing something yeah and what is it bringing them coming home to their self or in nature well and after a while you don't know the separation anymore so so it brings like quietness or they're at ease with themselves yeah quietness uh, one guy for instance he had always at his head he was oh, yeah. like this with his leg couldn't stop it never and then we have this exercise where we sit at, at, a, at the foot of the tree, we ask first. And then legs on the ground and they become after a while sort of some extra pair of roots. Wow. And this guy, his leg was at ease. Wow. That was the first time <laughs> since years. Since yeah. years. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow. So that type of things happen. So what do you want to leave behind in the world? What do you want to contribute? That nature is with soul. That's, uh, that there is a soul in there and that we can connect to it. So that you show that to people. Yeah. That you, yeah. yeah. And also uh, at the moment do some course designed for women alone because to see nature as sacred with soul 
uh, is more a women's type of thing. I think all those problems we have with uh, the destruction of our world are the eco side, which is going on. It's also this disbalance between the male and the female qualities at the moment. So we are far more in this male world at the moment where we do things and we bear them and create and but to the, the being of things yeah, that's lacking and, and in this being women yeah you, you can feel the other side you have to be silent for that you have to be uh, receptive women are far closer to this uh, type of thing but our voice is not heard that much within the, the male society so we have to strengthen this voice so i'm designing this course to talk about these things yeah, things. yeah. And, and 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 how would this course look like what would you teach yeah you would, uh, could also call it mindfulness we know that that everything we give attention it will grow but uh, also as we yeah, also have to do this with nature and nature will reply to us hope that that will change something yeah. yeah and what would you like to see changed the big field you drove through when you came here this is a way of thinking where you calculate how much um, mpk you have to put on this ground and to how much harvest you get off it uh, when you put and this has to feed us but nutrition doesn't come from calculation it has to come from somebody who is passionate about it and takes care of it, takes care of the ground. The grounds of and those fields are dead. There is no life in it. And how can where there is no life feed us something and we have to uh, be alive with uh, from it. Yeah, no, it's impossible to my uh, way of thinking. Yeah, so you want to change the whole system. Yeah, a, a holistic approach would be a lot. Yeah.